Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to Brit Warada Gheba Armani, and again, we're taking your questions from mytaskia.com. Please check out the descriptions, and please help support the program. Today, we're talking about Ramadan. It is Ramadan. I hope that this will be posted Ramadan, and most likely, it will be towards the last 10 days. So, can you give us a reminder, Ramadan am I, how can we best use this month to better ourselves and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I would say the best advice that I can give myself and to you is to have a, an approach to Ramadan that can be sustainable. Meaning, after Ramadan, you'll be able to continue. Some people work really hard in Ramadan, they push really hard, and then nothing happens after. Because they worship only Ramadan, and they worship Allah only in Ramadan. That's not how it works. You have to have an approach that is sustainable. Meaning, after Ramadan, you'll be able to continue. Now, of course, you're going to go a little bit down. A little bit down when you are outside of Ramadan. However, it should not be a big difference. That's the mistake that most people do. They get super excited about Ramadan, which is great. They get super excited about doing so many extra things, which is great. Yet, it's not sustainable. They're not able to maintain that kind of momentum when they actually get outside the Ramadan. I'm not saying not to push hard in Ramadan. Push hard, but be, basically, be, uh, be practical. Be realistic. I know anyone can push themselves hard for the first 100 meters of a race. The question is, can you maintain the marathon? And Ramadan is a training ground. Kutiba alaykum siyam. Allah has prescribed the siyam for you. What's the outcome? Al ayah, la'allakum tattaqoon. That you may achieve taqwa. Taqwa only Ramadan or outside? Outside as well. Taqwa needs to be maintained. So approach this Ramadan with more understanding, more strategic outcomes that benefit you outside the Ramadan, not only in Ramadan. Of course, Ramadan itself is the month. This is it. There's an objective for the month itself. But approach it also to have an objective for after Ramadan. So you can maintain the rest of the year. So if you don't, you pray Qiyam every night in Ramadan, and then first day of Eid, the second day, third day, and the whole year, nothing. No Qiyam. Nothing. Quran, you read, you finish the Quran. The rest of the year, no Quran. Yeah, you've done well in Ramadan, but what happened outside? So I would recommend to focus. It's a short in mind, inshallah. I would recommend to focus on acts and deeds that can be maintained, that are consistent. The Prophet ﷺ told us, Allah loves acts that are consistent, done consistently, consistently even if they are small. So this is my advice to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. And last 10 days are coming. Yes, are, these are the 10 days where you really push hard. However, if the first day of Eid, second day of, after Eid, you're done, you're like you burnt out, then something was wrong. Okay, I know. Most scholars say, last 10 days, let's push. I understand. We all do. This is what the Prophet said. Shaykh al-Islam bin Taymiyyah says, it's the horse, the race horse, right? He's going to push on the last, the last strip. He's going to have to push hard. I totally, totally recommend that. But if you're going to collapse after and you're going to be able to continue your lap, then basically it wasn't that beneficial and Allah knows best. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq and to help us to maintain istiqama. A lot of people don't understand that the objective of this deen and of Ramadan and of Salah and of Siyam is istiqama, not to go and then crash down. Istiqama. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.